Hey, did you want to know how to make an FPS game in Roblox? Well, today, I'll show you. So the first thing we're going to do is import our gun that we made in Blender last video. When it is imported into your game, start renaming the different components in the model. Also name the model pistol. Make it so the mesh parts are not collidable and also add joints and welds to these mesh parts. Then add a folder to replicate storage and call it gun models and then put your model in there. Now we're going to create a tool that will be shown to other players playing the game. And to do that, we will need to add a tool to our game, call it pistol, and add all the meshes that we have in our pistol model without their joints and welds. Now add a part to your tool, call it handle, set can collide to false and transparency one, and as well make anchored false as well. Now weld constraint all of the meshes in the tool to the handle. Then get the tool grip editor link in the description. Then when you have it, click on edit tool grip and then rotate it to the correct position. When you have done that, add a local script and call it mechanics. Then enter the code for the local script from the description. Now we are going to make the view model. First, we are going to click the link in the description. Then after we have imported our view model in, we will make a folder called view models in replicated storage. Then create a local script in starter character scripts called character first person visual. Now paste the code from the description to the local script. Now add the attributes displayed on screen to your local script. Now we are going to put the view model into workspace and as well put the gun model inside of the view model. Now we are going to connect the right hand to the grip by going into the view model and finding gun grip in the right hand. Then going into the properties and clicking on part one, then clicking on the grip to connect it. Now go to the animation editor and click on your view model. Now we're going to create the run animation, idle animation, reload animation, and shooting animation. Feel free to do it yourself.
Now after you go into the tools attributes and fill in where it says reload ID and shooting ID as well as the other attributes. Also go inside the mechanics local script and insert the run animation ID and idle animation ID. Also make additional idle animation and run animation for the character first person visual local script. Then when you do that, copy paste your IDs into the attributes of the local script. Now we will make the gun sounds. To do this, make a folder in sound service called gun underscore sounds. Now find a reload gun sound and gun shoot sound and put it in the folder. Now go into the mechanics local script and rename these. Remember to name the sounds just like mine. For the last thing we will make is the gun UI. So go into the description and get the gun UI and import it into your game. Change it however you like, but do not change anything only if you know how to code. Be sure to like and subscribe to see our next video or to see other tutorials like this one. Anyways, see ya!